Hi, I'm Joe and I play Rocket and Rockets Island. You said it wasn't high. This isn't high. That's high. Oh. Rocket. I think Rocket's quite an outgoing character. He liked myths and legends and he likes to, you know, go out with his friends and try and find all these mysteries and stuff. What was that? Something's coming. Take cover. But he's also, he's quite, not gullible, but in the way that he likes to believe in myths because he's quite a unique person. And the way that when he looks after kids, he likes to make them believe because he knows how much fun he has doing it. Um, and he always sees the good in people and tries to find, like, no matter what, they've done before in their past that they can always change. I think I'm similar to Rocket in the way that I'm quite an outdoorsy person and I don't like to sit in um, you know, on my PS3, I'd rather go out with my friends and I quite like animals and I, I think I can live on a farm myself. Yeah, and we also have the same pair. I'm different to Rocket in the way that he wakes up at five o'clock every morning to do his chores and I stay in my pit as long as possible every single day. Um, also, Rocket doesn't live in Essex anymore and I still do, so he's obviously suited to the farm and the outdoor life and I'm sort of still in the city sort of thing, so. This year is different to the last in the way that Rocket gets his first love interest, which he hasn't had before, as it says. There are only foster kids on the farm, and also he loses someone quite important to him. So that's something to expect. In one of the episodes, there was a scene where Izzy loses Sarah's ring uh, in a mud pit. You're supposed to throw the Tempe coin and keep the ring in hand. So I got it the wrong way. So in the scene, we have to obviously be searching through the mud, which is up to your knees. And um, I thought that in the scene it would be quite, not just because I wanted to, do, but because I thought it would be quite funny if, as I'm looking for the mud, I accidentally throw a bit back and it hits Dibba or Jordan. You see, that's why I like you. You totally take all the heat off me. So in the middle of the scene, I was searching through and I just heard a splat and a cough and it was Jordan getting hit in the face with the mud. The great thing about Rockets Island is the location. I mean, last year was great, but this year we have so many new things. We've got castles, we've got mines, and we even have an underground waterfall. So there's a lot to look forward to.